Well, the, the Trump administration is proposing to roll back um, a protection that the Obama administration put into federal regulations for transgender people. And it involves discrimination, sex discrimination in a healthcare setting. Um, when you're a patient, uh, you're at the hospital, uh, or seeking services from a, from a doctor. The, the Affordable Care Act that was passed under President Obama had a non-discrimination clause. And that non-discrimination clause prohibited discrimination on the basis of sex. Now when a federal law passes, the departments translate it into uh, regulation. And when the Obama administration translated the law into regulation, they included gender identity uh, as a category protected um, under sex discrimination. And now what's happened is the Trump administration has come and said, no, you read too much into the law. The law didn't specify gender identity. Therefore, we are proposing to remove it. The uh, transgender civil rights groups, they say that there have been many more court cases that they have won on this than they have lost and that some of these cases even predate uh, the Obama regulation. So it seems like this comes out of a debate. It's a constant debate about social issues and the laws of the land. And that's really where the dispute arises. Well, the, the LGBT uh, civil rights groups and activists say that this basically is going to open the door to discrimination in, in providing medical services. That it will give uh, health care providers, clinicians, um, hospitals an excuse to discriminate. And that people could be denied needed treatment because of this. Now, I put the question to HHS. Um, to the regulation writers, and they say that's not what they want to see. Uh, they say that LGBT people will be protected under a gamut of other federal laws that prohibit discrimination, for example, on the basis of uh, race, national origin, um, you name it. Disability, that's, another, that's an important one for, for health care settings. The, the rule is open for a 60-day comment period. And that 60-day that comment period, after it's over, um, by statute and practice, the department has to review the comments that come in. And then they have to see whether they want to change the rule to accommodate any of the um, points that have been raised. It's a, pro it's a process that usually takes more than 60 days, and then when that's all over and it's published as a final rule, there are groups lining up to say that they're going to sue in court. So at the moment, it seems to be anybody's guess when this actually takes effect.